It's Friday, October 11, 2013, and let's talk about what happened this week over at xdadevelopers.com. If you couldn't tell, I'm in Dallas. I mean, for all you can tell, I'm in a hotel room, and that's really about all you got. However, I am here for the Big Android Barbecue. I guess it's actually Hearst, Texas, instead of Dallas. I'm in my hotel room, getting ready to go out to dinner with some of the guys from XDA, and I'm very much looking forward to the next couple of days. I will, of course, be updating you with more information as there's more information to share. But for now, let's get on with the news. First up, an update to one of the stories I talked about in the last video. The LTE Nexus 7 2013 image is now available through the Nexus site for Android 4.3.1. So if you have one of these Nexus 7s from 2013, like one of those awesome people, head on over to the site, go ahead and pull it down. If you haven't gotten it over the air already, you can go ahead and flash it that way. Additionally, another item we talk an awful lot about, the exposed framework has officially been updated to version 2.3, and 2.3 definitely addressed some issues that a lot of people were having. It now works on my UI based ROMs, it works on x86 devices, and it additionally works on devices with SE Linux, SE Android, Nox, and ROMs without JIT enabled. So lots more compatibility, great looking update. If you have Exposed Framework and you're interested in learning some more about it, the link to all of this stuff will be down in the video description. There will be a portal post which links over to the thread. And moving right along to a device that I actually greatly enjoyed getting my hands on, the Verizon HTC One, when it came out, was apparently unlockable using the HTC dev site, but unfortunately, as it was expected, they very quickly closed all of that up, made it so you could not unlock it that way. And unfortunately, the previously available S-offs from Rev1 did not work on the Verizon specific model. But a group of XDA developers, specifically it looks like Beops took up the challenge, he was the one that really did the majority of the work, used the exploit from Beops and Fuses and the route from JDuck to make it happen, and so they have created a Rum Runner S-off for the Verizon HTC One. So if you have that Verizon HTC One and you want to get S off, you want to get completely unlocked, you want to be able to do all that fun stuff to it, of course you can read the forum thread for all the details. And since we're speaking of the HTC One, it looks like someone has gone ahead and taken Adam Outler's casual CASPAC, CAS IDE, casual everything, and put it to use for the HTC One, and created a casual-based clockwork mod recovery flasher for the HTC One. This was done by XDA forum member MightyBear007, and this was done using Adam's, like I said, his casual IDE, his uh, Kaz pack, Kaz, Kaz, Kaz stuff. All the Kaz stuff. So very nice to see Adam's casual project getting some more mention out there on the forum, getting some more use from people. And again, very nice to see more work being done for the HTC One because that's really a very nice device. And finally, to wrap things up, a little bit of forum news. Some new forums were added over on XDA, specifically forums for Themer, which is, uh, thing going on with MyColorScreen.com, specifically where the XDA community can get together and talk about things they're doing with Themer. And also a forum was added for the Google Nexus 5. Still interesting to me to see all the news and all of the stuff surrounding a device that Google hasn't entirely officially announced yet, but whatever. And additionally, we had three other videos on XDA Developer TV this week. The first one was a device review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 done by TK. Then I had made a video showing you how to install Ubuntu Touch on the 2012 edition Nexus 7. And then TK wrapped up the week showing you how to root the Galaxy Note 3. So for links to those videos or any of the other stories I talked about, please do check the video description as usual. You can also find the links to my YouTube channels down there as well. As always though, thank you so much for watching. Hit a like button down below if you did like this video. We do appreciate it. Subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available, and I'm going to head back out to do some more big Android barbecue stuff, and I will let you know what goes on there. Thanks for watching though, and I'll see you next time.